Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. What's up everyone? We haven't gotten some House of the Dragon leaks in quite some time, so I've compiled some of the more recent information. Uh, please, before I jump into any of that, do me a favor and slap a like on this video. I've been uploading content like crazy to try to beat YouTube's algorithm, and it's kind of working, but it's also kind of not. So if you've been enjoying it, please do me a massive favor and just subscribe here to me on YouTube. I'm losing subscribers left and right, and that's part of the algorithm sort of washing me out. But help me combat it. Only if you enjoyed my stuff. Also, if you want to take it a step further, consider joining my patron. Big shout out to Brianne Johnson, the North Must Remember, and Tyler Schnabel. They are all executive producers of this video. And also, shout out to every single member of my patron family. You can join in the link down below in the description over at patreon.com slash your reviews. Thank you for watching. I don't not lose without a an hour. Alright, so first up, let's do these uh, casting rumors, because there's no source, they're literally just rumors. Alright, there's a source, it's this dude posting them on Reddit, right? But he doesn't actually post a source or anything aside from, well, nothing, he just comments in the comments, right? So when you look up these people and who they are, I think the only reason why this person is saying they're, like, being casted in the show is because... The actors are following them, which I've mentioned before. That's actually a good way to tell who's going to be in the show, sometimes, depending on who it is. Like, if a bunch of the actors from the show start following this one person all around the same time, that's a good guess that they met them filming scenes, right? That's what happened with uh, the first season of House of the Dragons, how we found out most of the cast, right? So some of these people are Kieran Boo. Uh, I'm not familiar with his work, but apparently he's being looked at to play... Um, in my opinion, from his looks, like, we don't have any confirmation or anything to really go with the rumors other than, like I said, the cast members following them. Now, this dude, Kieran Bue, did post a picture with Jamie Tamimi, who is the, um, if I'm not mistaken, costume designer for House of the Dragon, but I feel like he kind of looks like a younger version of, get this, Sir Otto Hightower. I feel like this dude, Kieran Bue, is going to be playing that role. Remember, one of the first casting announcements we had just a month or two ago was for a higher up lord who can ride a horse who's witty and will be a series regular and has to kind of be funny right that's who this dude kieran boo is in my opinion and we also have two more or sorry three more castings one of them is for uh, this actress named isis hainsworth i'm not familiar with her work at all but uh, several members of house of the dragon follow her on instagram and then we also have uh Niam walsh who supposedly auditioned for the role of alice rivers isis hainsworth would be a good nettles but they could also be uh you know really any other character she's very attractive she could play a lot of uh you know the, the people that characters that appear in this show because uh, she kind of can uh, play any race um, and then also lastly we have this dude Dylan Bradley who he's not I don't think he's followed by a lot of people by the show but Emily Carey posts a lot of pictures with him and so does Bethany Antonia so I feel like all British actors kind of know each other uh, or a lot of them do, rather, if they went to acting school together, and that's probably why they follow each other on Instagram. But let me know what y'all think of these potential castings down below in the comment section. And now, just to sort of round this video out, because the casting stuff was kind of boring since we don't have any actual confirmations, we don't have any pictures of them on set yet. Um, speaking of sets, I'm showing you right now, here is an image of a set that's being built that, in my opinion, is potentially Rook's Rest. I've kind of mentioned this before in passing, um, but I feel like this set being built this early is going to be a major piece that's why they have to start on it so soon so soon and they're building it up from scratch meaning like they're not really using the backdrop of a real existing castle probably because it's all gonna have to burn right so this may not be actual rook's rest but this may be the town outside of rook's rest that potentially gets burned um and then some leaked information that was sent to me through the dms over on twitter please go follow me at sir underscore hunts and then follow me on instagram as well at sir underscore hunts underscore reviews um this person mentions that the budget even though there were two episodes cut from House of the Dragon Season 2, the budget is exactly as requested. Meaning they still got the same budget for less episodes, which is amazing. If this is true, right? It probably is. I mean, why would they shrink the budget just because they're, they're still filming those two episodes? They're just pushing them into Season uh, 3, you know? So, it's that's really exciting to hear if that's true. Um, then another person mentions that Rook's Rest will have a scene in which, get this... Rainies will get eaten by sunfire. Now, I have actually mentioned that 
before. That was one of the first leaked videos that I made after House of the Dragon Season 1 ended, but I feel like now that we know Rook's Rest will be where Season 2 will most likely end, I wanted to bring it back up. This person mentions that Rainies will get eaten by Sunfire, and that after the battle, this is how it goes down. After the battle, she's still alive and sort of badly burned, but Sunfire, who's also badly burned and damaged and can't fly, seeks her out and feasts on her corpse. Get this, this person mentions that the last scene of season two is Rainey's screaming out in pain and terror. Let me know what you think about that down below. That's pretty brutal. Uh, remember, take this information with a grain of salt because nothing is proved. proved uh, nothing is true until it airs on our screens, right? Um, and this person goes on to state that apparently during the dragon battle, Maylees ends up getting wounded early on when a bolt loosed by the greens takes her in the side, causing her to favor that side for protection. And this is what makes her slip in battle, like sort of leaning to that side, I guess, or, or trying to protect that side it is in pain, right? And this is what ultimately causes Maylees to lose the battle. And the person mentions that Vagar and Amond are at this battle, but sort of sit it out. They want it to be a 1v1 because Amond and Aegon get into a weird exchange beforehand. Aemon becomes all moody, and also he doesn't want another death of the blacks on his hand. So he kind of just sort of sits at, sits to the side, and this is where Maylees and Sunfire and Aegon and Rhaenys, the writers, you know, kind of duke it out, right? Um, but he goes on, uh, this person goes on to mention that another bolt, uh, like during the process of the blacks firing their ballistas, um, one bolt hits Aegon through the leg and pins him to the saddle. So when the dragons go down initially in canon, Aegon actually jumps from his dragon. Um, actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, Aegon uh, <clears throat> rides his dragon in the battle with Rook's Rest. And, uh, it's, it's crazy because he, he gets burned in that battle and the armor is fused to his flesh, but he also sort of walks with a limp. And then when he fights Moondancer and Balo on Dragonstone, right... This is where he jumps off his dragon and breaks both of his legs. So I don't know what this leaker was saying, but the leaker was saying apparently the reason why he can't get out of the way before Sunfire crashes into the ground in this battle is because one of the bolts that were shot by his own people pinned his leg to the saddle. So that that actually kind of makes for uh, really good TV if that's the case. Like like yes, he won. Yes, they killed Rainies in in Aegon. Yes, it's a it's a or I'm sorry, yes, they killed Rainies and Melees, so the Blacks lost one of their biggest dragons, and then also one of their best dragon riders, most experienced riders, all in the same battle, but also he's now crippled, right? He he's His leg is completely maimed, he's gonna break the other one later on in the series, if this is true. Also, he's burned, right? Like, this is, this is gonna be nuts. You all let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I literally cannot wait any longer for House of the Dragon Season 2 to start filming. And they, you know, the official announcement or start of it was announced by Matt Smith at the Abu Dhabi Comic Con, the reason why I'm being spo so specific about this news is because you're going to see people online saying that, oh yeah, HBO's planning something for April 12th. Yeah, dummy. Uh, Matt Smith said that's when filming officially starts. So <laughs> around that time is when we'll probably get casting news. We'll maybe get some confirmations on the Jon Snow show and stuff. And that's just in a few days from now. So keep your ears and eyes open. Thank you for watching. My name's Mark. I'm not the Oh, please stop liking this video. Like goes one before 20.